when we think about bugs, you want them out of your garden, right? Well, there are some that actually help our vegetable plants. Laura and Bobby show us how to attract these good guys. All bugs aren't bad. There's a group of bugs called beneficial insects, which really are a benefit to your garden. And you can do specific things to attract them to your space, and they can do some hard work for you. First up, braconid wasps. These are not the black and yellow wasps that build nests above your front door. They can sting, but braconid wasps are not interested in humans. What they can do for you is help with pests like tomato hornworms and other worms and caterpillars. They lay their eggs on the worms, and when those eggs hatch, the larva feeds on the hornworm, killing it. The wasps also feed on nectar and pollinate for you. Flowers, fruits, and veggies. Not to be confused with Asian beetles, ladybugs are a big friend in the garden. They have a voracious appetite for aphids, whiteflies, mealybugs, potato beetles, mites, fleas, and many more. Attracting ladybugs is easy as planting some dill or yarrow around the edge of your garden. Green lacewings are not only beautiful, they are helpful at keeping aphids, mealybugs, and whiteflies, as well as leafhoppers in check. Lacewings love herbs, also coreopsis, cosmos, and sunflowers, so include some of those in your garden. Ground beetles are a good guy that deserves welcoming. Ground beetles are black with grooves on their backs. They patrol the ground looking for cutworms, snails, caterpillars, and slugs, so you want these guys in your garden. Using mulch in your garden gives the ground beetles the environment they're looking for. So three cheers for these good guys who do the hard work of keeping our garden looking good and thriving.